Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful that you clicked on this button and you're here to check out another book review. So this time around, I read a book called And Then They Fired Me by Jenny Mouton. Um, so this is the chairman and the founder of the PSG Group, which is a listed company which is involved in different um, sectors in the economy. And it's this, this huge, huge company which is doing phenomenal work offering you know jobs to so many people it also owns um capitech you know so it's a huge huge company so i read it because um i wanted to get a perspective into you know these companies that were built to be so big that they become listed i think they're valuable lessons um to be learned from that and yeah that's exactly what i got because guys a group company i hope you understand what a group is i'll just explain it to you so a group company means that it owns other smaller companies and when i say owns other small companies in this you know particular example psg owns a lot of companies it is in the banking sector agriculture it is in the education space you know curo mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it also owns curo you know um it is in the private equity sector as well so it's quite a huge company that owns you know a, a lot more companies as well so um he gives us a story as to how you know that started um so yeah the outline of the book i think this will just make it easier so the outline he starts where he was you know young growing up as a teenager and then going to university uh getting to work and then um, getting fired. And then after that, um, he brings us into how he started the PSG group, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, growing up um, as an African guy, you know, um, he played rugby, you know, and was engaged in different things. Um, one of the things I loved um, when he was growing up, he used to work in his father's business where he... You know, he didn't like it at the time, but the value that he sees that brought into his life was very good, which is one of the things that I liked from the book, you know, um, to bring in kids, you know, to the family businesses that people have. So moving on, he went to university where he did um, accounting. I think he did CA profession. Moving on to that, he served his articles, got on into, you know, work. And then as he worked, he now progressed into investing, you know, into equity you know i think it's brokerage you know as he says it in the book and then yeah how he grew in that space you know to become one of the directors you know of certain of that certain company so he was pretty big he was doing pretty well you know even his savings he's like i hit several millions i'm like good you saved several millions so yeah it tells you that his career was going good and he was good at what he does and he is a hard worker like he's always like you're at work he was a there was a place where he said that his wife was complaining that you know he's not coming home on time you know he's always coming late and he's like would you rather have me come home every day at five or would you rather have us live you know a wealthy life you know because there is a trade-off that has to be made and yeah the decision was made and money it was you know wealth and success of the family was put first so as he was working there i'm sorry about that as he was working there and they actually ended up firing him and it happened so brutally and so unexpectedly because they just called him into the boardroom and was like thank you for your services it's been great having you um but we no longer require your services so can you please leave you know so which came as a shock to him because he didn't expect it these are the people he worked with for so long you know had such great relationships with so it was yeah it was quite a sad you know moment not sad it was a depressing moment for him and yeah but um from that um he started to build himself you know and read and just you know see what he could do and he ended up coming up um with um the psg group and growing it into such a phenomenal company working with ex like great people to grow such a company you know so yeah that's what it's all about he gives tips you know on you know his business idea and how the business phenomenon how you should go about it you know um so yeah brief tips that we could all learn from so yeah 
So I'll give you now the lessons that I got from this book, just five, five lessons. Number one, creativity. So the way, you know, when people are professionals, they don't become creative anymore. So um, when he got fired, he was put in a space where he had to be creative. Um, so that was very good in that it's it's funny how he took the everyday challenges and turned them into business ideas. He said that as he reads newspapers, you know, that get turns in, that gets turned into a business idea. So all the problems that you've seen, turn them into a business idea, turn um, them into you know questions ask yourself how can i solve this you know because that's how he came up you know with some of the business idea i mean now um given the covid 19 um the curo you know the company is one of the leading companies in terms of online education you know so it's part of the creativity that is essential for a company he says we must read books guys the list of books that he has given us to read that he says he reads, you can tell that he has a wealth of knowledge and he quotes so many other different um, writers of which I love. I think it's very important for, for writers to be readers as well, you know, because we need a wealth of information. So creativity, creativity is very important. Number two, networks, guys. The networks that are in there, I'm telling you guys. I am telling you guys, it's lit. It's lit because he speaks about um, the people that he has worked with. He hires the best. He hires people who know, know their work, you know. And I like that these people are the people that he met when he was, you know, in the working space. Some of the people are those that actually were in the fire ring. But because he knows they're good at their job, you know, they've built such a beautiful relationship. Um, regardless of what happens, um, as he reflected and saw his mistakes as well, you know, he called in these people. So don't take your job for granted. Don't take the people you're around on a daily basis for granted. Build networks, you know, go to events, you know, that are great. Go to places where you'll meet great people who have great um, intellectual capital, who have, you know, great resources and connections, you know, not like in a bad way, but we all want to build ourselves. And you want to make sure that when that time comes, you are surrounded by the right people who are going to contribute to you. You know so it's very very important the third thing positivity so this person guys he says he likes to be around positive people because they help him expand they help him do better so i think it's something that we have to to learn you know leave the debbie there not down as like leave the leave those people who are negative who don't want to move on who are always complaining okay Stick with the people that want to grow. Stick with the people that come up with new ideas. Stick with the people that want to do better and be better, okay? Yes. Number three, read, read, and read, okay? So he reads newspapers every single day, every single morning. So um, I think that's a very important thing that we could all, you know, learn from. He reads a lot of books as well, as I spoke about the list that he has attached, you know, be it in his industry, be it um your napoleon hill you know be it your warren buffett he reads a lot and he also encourages us you know to read another thing you need to know the law know what's going on around you the new acts that are coming up you know so it's very very important he points out the importance of us reading i loved that and i saw that come a lot through um his biography another thing family and culture this man loves his African art culture, guys, the things he does, he contributes to different organizations that believe in that, that propel that. So also for us, let's invest in the things that we believe in. I believe in books. So I invest my time in doing book reviews, you know, whatever that you believe in, put in resources to see it grow, you know, put in resources to see it get better. So that was a very good thing in terms of family, guys, his sons were put as directors do you understand the power of that so when you build a company don't feel sad don't worry your kids are gonna benefit from it but i like that even if he does that um i don't know why people are noisy but it's okay i'm sorry about that hey i'm really sorry but it's in the hood you know yeah so he says that um he put his sons you know in the company but the most important thing is that he made sure that his sons you know they educated you know he was making sure they do their job well he was actually more tough on them um than 
anyone else which i think is very important because people baby their kids and they don't get there to do the job exactly as it is so it's very important to build your empire build your empire and put put your your kids there because this is your legacy okay this is your legacy you need to make sure that you 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 do your things well and the way the structure of the company is and the family trust and the stuff like that that owns um a huge portion of uh p pgc you know it just shows you know how important it is um to build that company but also to expand it um and let other people in but remain having you know a specific portion into it right so yeah that's what i learned from the book now moving on to what i liked this guy is just honest he's real he'll tell you about his you know wins where they made millions and millions of profit like hundreds of millions of profits um which he was like hey, millions in profit eh? like 360 what million in profit he was just real he gives you the detail you know in bed we say ah kuti kuti unu ufa yon apa kam khoeli nga hona so i loved that you know his lows he would tell you after he was fired you know get into it deeply to just express himself you know and just tell you how that affected him i loved that it was very conversational um yeah and then another thing is that he quotes as he said he reads other books it's just very great you know to reconnect again and be like ah i read this book oh ah, i'm gonna read this book next so that was very good so moving on to improvements <clears throat> guys this book ne? number one oh guys it felt like i'm writing a finance exam with as 24 related party transactions because the people that were he spoke about so many different people and i'm just like who is who who does what is this the same person you spoke about in the second chapter or three other different people like there was just so many names and it got confusing because we don't know those people and it's not easy to connect so i felt like he should have brought through more of the principle of that relationship or that particular situation so it's easier for people to learn from i don't think um then the names we just forgot and it just made it more and more difficult um uh, because there were so many different like like the people are like a lot you know so it was difficult to keep track it was quite complex as well um so if you didn't do finance or you know accounting investing you know such things um this book can be a bit challenging for you to learn from because of how deep he is he's very technical in terms of um the language of finance so yeah that was not yeah that was that was deep and another thing is that he kept on referring to oh you'll read this again in this chapter you'll read again this again in the next coming chapter so i was like i'm gonna get there anyway there's no need to really say it as many times as he's saying it so yeah the refer like the referencing could have just been cut out a little bit because i am gonna get there and then the part that touched me and it shook it me the most it just shook me this one um so he was talking about how um bee -E like was not going well and one of the things he said he's like he understands that apartheid you know did um injustice to people but he just wishes that it was just like we could just pay a once-off fee for it and this could be over and i'm like hold up hold it right there apartheid cannot go on for so many years and you think it's all gonna be taken back by one penalty i mean whole generational wealth has been taken away here so this is not going to be easy. So you all have to deal with it because this was forcefully taken and this is going to be done right, okay? It might not be right, but we won't try to fix it anyway. So yeah, I didn't agree with that perspective at all. And yeah, it was just, you know, for a South African company, I would have expected a little bit more of black people in power. I think we've come a long way and there are a lot of people who are educated, who are black, who could be, I don't know if they are part of the board, you know, but he, he didn't really quote them a lot, you know, so yeah, it was a bit like, ah, ish, ish, I wish, you know, could have had some representation there, you know, um, people who know their job, I know the people who know their job, who are great at the job, who could be there and just slay it as well, so that's just some of the things that I was a little bit sad about, you know, so yeah but yeah that's it about the book who should read it you know if you are into investing if you know terms such as mergers in acquisitions and what that entails 
you know, if you are into the finances, you know, and you want to build an empire, this is your book, you know, um, uh, for the rest of the people, you know, it's okay. Um, but you'll need to really reference a lot and ask um, your friend who did finance or your friend who did accounting or investing to explain quite a lot of things because <clears throat> it's deep that side. It's very, very deep. But yeah, it was a cool book to learn from. It took me a little bit long because along the way I was just like, hey, this is a lot, hey? That finance paper is doing too much right now. But yeah, I eventually finished it and I'm I'm happy I did. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing, I definitely urge you to get yourself a copy and read it. But yeah, that's it from me. And thank you so much for listening to me up until this point. And I hope you enjoyed the book review. Thank you.